Today on the channel, our Jax Class Superstars Deep Dive takes us to the Ringside Fest exclusives from 2004 and 2005. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for our continuing deep dive into the Jax Classic Superstars Collection. Every single Tuesday here on the channel for over a year now, we've had a different video on the Jax Class Superstars series. You too can be an expert on the Jax Class Superstars. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel as you do not want to miss one of these videos. And we've done a lot of videos already, the single packs, the two packs, the three packs, a lot of exclusives, and that's where we're at today. We're working our way through various exclusives, and today we're doing the Ringside Fest exclusives from 2004 and 2005. Roddy Roddy Piper and Yokozuna. We're going to do it like we always do these Jax videos. We're going to take a look at the figure. We're going to talk about it, kind of the headspace and what was going on around that time and see where it goes from there. We got a little bit of a controversial one, a little controversial uh, with the Yokozuna. We'll get to him second. We're going to start with 2004. Ah, oh, yes, 2004. What a year. The year Kyle graduated from college. Yes, it's true. I graduated from college in 2004. So this was a college graduation gift to myself. Uh, no, it was not, but fun to say. But we got Roddy Piper, Rowdy Roddy Piper in 2004 as the Ringside Fest exclusive figure. Now, Ringside Fest, for you guys that aren't aware, it still goes on to this day. It's a great time. Uh, Ringside's usually in New York City. It's I think it's always been in New York City. They've had it at, I think, the WWE, the old restaurant there. Uh, they've had it at various places in New York. And it's a time where Mattel, Jax, depending what uh, era we're in, but this time we're talking Jax, Jax would come. We'd have an exclusive for those in attendance. There would be guests. There would be guest wrestlers that would sign autographs, stuff like that. And then the Jacks or Mattels of the world would show off their wares. Here's some upcoming things. Here's some uh, future lineups. It would be just kind of like a mini San Diego Comic-Con, but on a much, much smaller level and wrestling focused. Um, these still happen every year. We still get exclusives from time to time. Um, but we'll see. We'll see where the future holds for the Ringside Fest. But they were very often anticipated every year. What's going to be the exclusive? What are they going to be? Uh, but this was the first one of the Jack's Classic Superstars variety. And like I said, from 2004. And you couldn't have picked a better guy. Uh, maybe the Ultimate Warrior. But Rowdy Roddy Piper, a favorite of many out there. I was happy to get this Rowdy Piper. Now, this is a bit of a repaint of Series 4 Rowdy Roddy Piper. Uh, getting the most out of your molds. We talk about that all the time. So there is uh, definitely some differences, but some similarities. And we'll compare them to the two um, here later in the video. But let's take a look first at Rowdy Roddy Piper here there he is he does come with his intercontinental title does come with a microphone does come with his kilt it is not soft goods kilt uh the biggest difference here we have is the black hot rod shirt which we've gotten in the past a few times uh we've seen that throughout the years uh, i always kind of think of that as more wcw as i remember him wearing a lot more black shirts in wcw um, maybe not with the hot rod insignia on it, but definitely black shirts in his WCW time frame. Uh, but I think he did briefly wear this shirt in the WWF, if I'm correct. Uh, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong on that one. Uh, but very similar to the Rowdy Roddy Piper we got in Classic Series 4, like I said earlier. We do get the little stickers down there. We get the little red circular Ringside Fest 2004 exclusive. And then we get one of 1,800. Yes, 1,800. Now, this one did not uh, command a very high dollar figure for a lot of years. It was fairly easy to get. I don't know if it still is. I don't really keep up with uh, the pricing on these anymore because I have them all, so I don't need to be looking for them. But uh, this one was fairly easy to get for a lot of years compared to the Toy Fair exclusive Rowdy Rowdy Piper with the soft goods, leather jacket, all that kind of stuff. We'll get to that one on the channel eventually, so make sure you're uh, subscribed with the notification bells. We'll get to that one eventually, like I said. Uh, but only 1,800 of these in existence. Uh, I wouldn't mind to have a loose one of these in my collection one day, but uh, it is what it is. But 1,800 of them. Got Rowdy Rowdy Piper on the side, like we've seen before. A little glamour shot. Now, the glamour shot is the same glamour shot as we saw in Series 4. So a lot of reuse. A lot of reuse of the total packaging outside of the stickers, actually. Uh, you can see the rest of the Series 4 lineup. JYD, Hillbilly Jim, Tito Santana, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Yokozuna, and of course, Roddy Piper. Uh, go back on the channel. Search back through the videos. We did a deep dive of that entire set, so make sure you find that video if you missed it. 
We got the blurb up top. We got the big glamour shot of Roddy in his white shirt. We got UPC's warnings, all that fun stuff down below. Let's see what it says about the old hot rod, Rowdy Roddy Piper. Debuted 1972, 231 pounds, six foot one, finishing move, the sleeper. Uh, titles WWE Intercontinental Champion, United States Champion. And his favorite quote, it's time to pay the Piper. Boy, it sure is. It sure is. Let me grab this Piper here. Like I said, a lot of reuse. So this is the Piper that we had in the past. You can see them both right there. Both have the Intercontinental title. Both have uh, the microphone there. Obviously, stickers different with this one. Different kilt, different colored t-shirt, but the exact same head sculpt. And then after that, the packaging is identical. The identical packaging. Once again, getting the most out of your molds, getting all that reuse out there. Uh, that's the way you got to do it in the old. It is the toy business, after all. But a cool exclusive and a cool venture into the Ringside Fest exclusives into the Classic Superstars. Uh, we'll have, this is part one, I should say, as well. We'll do Yokozuna here, but then next week we'll have part two with two of the heaviest hitters in the Classic Superstars packs of all time. That should be a really, really good video. Uh, they really kind of primed the pump a little bit. We got a little bit of the salad. We got a little bit of an appetizer here, and then we got the main course and dessert coming next week. Uh, two very sought after two packs. So we'll get to those, like I said, next week. But now we got to go to a bit of a controversial one here. 2005 Ringside Fest. Now, this is one of those ones, some people say it's Classic Superstar, some people say it is not. I'm covering it as part of this video because it does fit. The other two are Classic Superstars. Piper, definitely Classic Superstars. This one was 2005, kind of in the middle. Not technically Classic Superstars. We do not have the Classic Superstar insignia on it. Um, I don't know if I count this or not. I did pick this up because it's kind of in the middle there. It's a lot like that Extreme Superstars 2-pack, that Kmart exclusive Terry Funk McFoley. doesn't say Classic Superstars on there, but a lot of people count it as that. This one is very similar to that. We'll get into it when we explain the packaging and everything. Now, the first thing for me, a little bit of a disappointment here as I would have much preferred this style packaging. I think we all would. All of us that love the Class Superstars would love that Class Superstars packaging. Now, we've seen in the past with Hulk Hogan, Dusty Rhodes, uh, Bret Hart, Jeff Hardy 2-pack, we've had boxed Classic Superstars exclusives in the past. So this isn't necessarily a new thing when we're talking about the grand scope of things, but it was a little bit of a shock. And a, a lot of people, like I've said, uh, is this Ruthless Aggression figure? What do we count this as? I'm going on record right now. I'm going to count it as a classic superstar. That's why it's part of this video. And we'll see something that kind of leans it that way a little bit. But this is Yokozuna. Yeah, we figured that out. Yokozuna, but it's classic superstars for Yokozuna. Taken to the next level. Like taking a basic to the elite level is what this is. Throwing in a, a flag, soft goods. They're really taking that classic superstar series for Yokozuna to the next level. I do have that Yokozuna right here. Uh, so you can see him right there. So there it is, Yokozuna. It's the same figure, just dressed up a bit. So let's look at the packaging on this one. Now this is a heavy package. As Yokozuna is one of the bigger figures in the Class Superstars line. He's got some weight to him. Uh, so this is a heavier box. Um, but this is a box set. You got Yokozuna right there. You got the WWE logo. You got Ringside Fest sticker for 2005. Then you got Yoko in the package there with the flag behind him and the big kimono on. Uh, just a really solid Yokozuna. I would have loved to seen him in this packaging. I think it would have displayed better. It would have looked better. It would have been much fondly remembered for sure. Uh, on the side, you got Yokozuna on the box. Uh, and then the other side, same thing. You got him holding the flag up top. Just a little bit of that uh, Japanese flag uh, kind of sun there. And uh, it says Ringside Fest 2005, one of 1,800 limited editions. So one of 1,800 on this one, uh, as you can imagine. Now the back is where our case for it being a classic superstar really rises, I would say. On the back here, what are we promoting? We're promoting classic superstars figures. You can see it right there. Is that classic superstar 7, I believe? Billy Graham? Yep, Billy Graham, Jimmy Hart, Gorilla Monsoon, British Bulldog, Eddie Guerrero, Andre, Harley Race. A very, very solid set in the history of the Classic Superstars line. We're promoting belts, and then we're promoting the Classic Superstars ring as well. So really, it is a classic figure, Yokozuna. It is this figure dressed up. And then on the back, we're promoting Classic Superstars. To me, I feel like we have to count this as part of the Classic Superstars collection. But I would totally understand if somebody says, hey, at the end of the day, it doesn't have the Classic Superstars logo on it. It's not Classic Superstars. That makes a lot of sense to me as well. But I'm going to count it uh, for this video series. And just uh, to talk about it, I think it's fair to put this in here. But a very, very 
strong Yokozuna. Uh, I just really wish it would have been in this style of packaging. It would have really taken this up, especially with the soft goods in here. It's just, it is truly the Jax Class Superstars Ultimate Yokozuna is what this ends up being. Um, it just wasn't made to be. But another Ringside Fest exclusive, this one for 2005. And then we have a 2006 and 2007 exclusive. Like I said, those will be in next week's video. Uh, between these two, both pretty solid. I've just had my uh, gripes about this body mold on Yokozuna in the past, as you guys know. Uh, we talked about it in that video. So I guess I'll, I'll lean towards the Piper as being a favorite of mine. I like Piper as a wrestler more than Yokozuna. I love the classic Superstars packaging, all that kind of stuff. But which one do you prefer of the two? Well, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know where you stand. We almost should run a poll. Is it classic Superstars? Is it not classic Superstars? I got to think the majority of people will say it is. But tell me in the comments below, what are your thoughts on this Yokozuna? Where do you rank him? Is he a classic? Is he not a classic? So please tell me in the comments. Make sure you like this video. You made it this far. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for Yokozuna, Roddy Piper, Ringside Fest everywhere, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.